Well, hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am joining Altenew on their July 2019 stencil release blog hop, and I'm going to dive into my five favorite ways to use stencils today. I love using stencils because they're extremely affordable and there's lots of different things that you can do with them and do lots of different techniques for different looks. So the first one I'm going to do is just some simple ink blending and I'm going to be using the wonderful wreath stencil. This stencil, when you first blend it out and look at it, it looks like a holiday wreath or like a holiday stencil, but I'm going to switch it up a little bit today and add some colors later on and make a summery type card. So to ink blend, I'm going to be using this mini ink cube in Evergreen, which is a dark green ink by Altenew, and I'm using a blender brush. This one specifically is from Trinity Stamps, and I will link that and everything used today in the description. But I'm just making sure to stay along the line of that leaf path in the circle, because inside the circle you've got some smaller circular pieces that can be used to blend as berries. So I want to make sure that I don't bring my green into the center at all because you'll be able to see those circles in the center. I'm going to flip this around and add a little bit more texture. When I ink blend this, I'm going to use a lighter color and I'm going to use frayed leaf also by Altenew and it's a lighter green so it just gives it a little bit more texture and a little bit more dimension. It's gonna make the wreath look a little fuller. And also because the leaves will be going now the opposite way, it's just gonna make it look a little bit more organic and lifelike. So after all is said and done, I went ahead and used the anemone uh, builds a flower just to add a nice orange pop in there. Like I said, it looks a little bit more summery this way. And I fussy cut just around the very outside of the wreath. I'd like you to take notice now of the bottom area of that cardstock and you'll see that it's embossed with some lines. And for that I actually used the beach towel stripe stencil. This is one of my favorite techniques to use for with stencils because again it's just another way to do it but it also adds a lot of interest into the card without adding color or adding too much that draws the attention of the eye. So what I'm going to do is place this in my Platinum 6 Spellbinders die cutting machine and I'm going to use the base and embossing mat. I'm then going to put my cardstock and then the stencil right on top of that and then I use an embossing plate on top. This is my favorite way and preferred method to get the dimension that I like. You can see it just presses that design right in there. And this is a pretty simple design, but you can do it with the most intricate of stencils and it works the same way and I love it. For my next stencil, I'm going to be using the Color Block Heart Stencil. This is another one of those stencils that you can flip to make a bigger and sort of more elaborate design. So what I'm going to do first is use some low tack painter's tape just to adhere my cardstock to the back so that I don't get any movement with the stencil and the cardstock. And I'm going to ink blend that with Coral Berry, which is a nice pink color from Altenew. When I remove the stencil, you'll see that I have this design that doesn't quite look like hearts yet. So what I'm going to do is actually rotate again the stencil to complete the heart look. To make sure that I get it in the exact right spot, I'm actually going to adhere the tape to my cardstock first, upside down, and then when I'm in the spot that I'd like the stencil to be and I can line it up just by looking through and seeing there, I'm going to press down on those edges just to make sure that my stencil is adhered. For my second color, I am using Ocean Wave, which is a nice muted blue color, which actually when blended together in that center with the pink, actually makes like a purple color. So I really love the way that these two colors played on each other. So my third tip for how to use a stencil is exactly how you would think to use a stencil. And I'm going to use a pen. This is a gold metallic shimmer pen. And I'm just going to outline a few of these hearts and it will just make nice highlighted areas. And I don't end up actually creating a full card with this, but I wanted to show you how the background will look. So you could die cut this down to make a smaller shape, like a circle or a rectangle, or you can just use it as a full card front. I love the way that it just highlights a few of those spots 
and really draws your eye and your attention to that. I'm going to share my fourth tip on how you can use stencils today with you by using the on the plus side stencil. This is just a continuous pattern of these plus sign or addition signs and I'm going to be foiling this. Now I don't go too much into the actual foiling technique. If you're interested in that, I have linked a dedicated foil video for you up in the right hand corner, but I am going to be using Thermoweb's Deco Foil Transfer Gel. And this stuff is like magic. It makes foiling so easy and it's especially wonderful to use with stencils. So I'm just going to use this palette knife and make sure that I get a nice even coverage layer over my entire stencil and I have to let it dry until it's shiny and hard. I then go ahead and use some uh, rose gold colored foil and I get this really neat look and I love that. Again, this would be great cut down a little bit for a card front or as a complete background to a card front and I just love the way that that one turned out. My final step, number five, is going to be using embossing paste. Now, Altenew has a wonderful embossing paste that is so light and fluffy and airy, and it's really a joy to work with. I'm going to be using the Bubble Wrap Stencil for this. This can be used in so many ways. You could actually use it as bubbles themselves if you wanted to do like an underwater scene, or you could just also do a really... A sort of subtle background with it, but I decided I wanted to do a textured background and make sort of a masculine card. So what I'm doing is really no method to my madness here. I ended up using an ink pad refill, this really muted cloudy blue color to add some color to my embossing paste. And then I'm just sort of recklessly putting it all along the card front. I want this to look really messy and sort of unstructured so that it just looked a little cooler. I have a lot of texture there and there's a lot of interest and this just reminded me a lot of a masculine card. So I added that fancy hello die and then a sentiment grateful for you right under that. I have a couple more examples for you today. I used the doily frame stencil here for this card, and this might be actually my favorite stencil from the release. It's really versatile and would also look good with all of the tips that I shared today. And then of course the Buffalo plaid builder stencil, which is perfect for holidays, which is how I used it here. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about how you can use stencils that you already own and stencils that were released with Altenew this month. Please check out the description for the link to the blog hop as well as all of the products used today. Thanks so much. I'll see you again soon. Bye.